Hi, this is Natasha Lara Lewis, your friendly farmer. Sorry for my voice, I kind of got a little cold over the weekend, so I sound a little funny. But I wanted to bring you your week, uh, is this week five, uh, CSA box. So we're going to uh, show you a little bit about what's in your box. We have a few new vegetables this week to look forward to. So one of the things that you'll probably notice is these beautiful onions. They're called cipollini, they're a flat onion and uh, we've got a couple of round ones in here too. So you can use those just like you would any cooking onion. You can also use the tops as well. And you can just cut the whole thing up, saute it, use it in anything you like. So we have some bigger onions coming on. Um, they will not store, though you'll wanna keep these in the fridge. We have a couple of salad mixes. We have a beautiful blend of um, a few different dark red salads here. The salads are holding out, but uh, it won't be long, but they don't like this heat. So we've got some beautiful greens still. We've got some lovely little hearts of uh, the speckled trout romaine. And these are really tender. They make wonderful little um, cups. You can take, and take one leaf and do like chicken salad or chickpea salad or whatnot inside and do um, a grain-free little appetizer and they look so pretty. Throw them onto a sandwich, all kinds of fun stuff you can do with that. We have kale this week. This is red Russian kale. It's a beautiful uh, purple veined kale. This is a wonderful size for making kale chips. What I do is I just fold my kale in half, cut down the rib, toss it with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and then bake them at a high temperature, like 400 or so, and make some wonderful kale chips. So uh, that's a fun little project that you could try out, do something a little bit different with your kale. We have tarragon. The tarragon uh, makes a wonderful uh, vinegar. You can take and steep any of the celestial seasonings zinger teas. There's like different fruit zingers. Uh, steep that in a little bit of vinegar and then throw a few sprigs of the tarragon in there and maybe a couple of cloves of shallots or garlic and shake it up, put it in your fridge. After a few days, strain all of that out and you have a wonderful vinegar to marinate chicken in or to use as a salad dressing. And remember, you can always freeze these herbs too or dry them. Just take and put them um, in the oven at a very, very low temperature to dry it or you can take the leaves off and just freeze it as well. We have some beets this week, um, so enjoy those. Again, I love them roasted. That's my favorite way to do beets, but I love to hear your ideas. Uh, Kate, who helped us out today, says her family's always made borscht, so maybe she'll share that recipe. We have Swiss chard, wonderful Swiss chard. Um, remember, saute it, freeze it if you've got too much of this. You'll love it come winter. We've got some little radishes. These are the purple radishes and uh, you can chop those up in a salad. They don't like the heat, so they'll only be here a little bit longer with us. We've got a head of Napa cabbage. Hopefully you tried that coleslaw last week. Um, I could make a batch of coleslaw every single week. Try to change it up a little bit. You can um, make an Asian coleslaw by putting a little bit of Thai peanut sauce in there, chopped peanuts, a little sriracha, kind of change up your um, you know, coleslaw from a uh, American to a little bit of an Asian influence. So delicious. And these are just beautiful, beautiful little hearts of uh, Napa cabbage. We have broccoli. Some of you have heads. Some of you have loose broccoli. Um, so the broccoli is starting to come on. And again, I would just rinse, uh, let it soak for a few minutes <clears throat> in a salt water. And then take and uh, you can then prepare. It doesn't take long to cook, only a couple minutes or so. We have snow, oh, I'm sorry, snap peas. So these are all edible, the entire pod. Super sweet, enjoy those. Or you can even steam them up, they're really good steam. And our new little alien vegetable this week is kohlrabi. They're just starting, so they might be a little bit on the small side, but these are a wonderful little gem. They are peeled, so you peel this whole bulb, and you can even cook the leaves like you would a chard or collard or beet green. And then you just chop it up. It's great if you um, actually shred it and add it to coleslaw. Um, it's also wonderful raw. That's my favorite way to eat it. And it has a taste that's kind of a blend of like an apple 
and kind of uh, like a turnip or a radish, um, which it's just a really delightful flavor, so try that. It makes a great um, addition to uh, any coleslaw or chopped up and put on top of um, tacos or anything like that. I even had a customer last year who took it and shredded it and put it in his pancakes and it tasted very much like apple. So um, cinnamon apple pancakes with kohlrabi, a great way to fool the kids into eating their daily amount of vegetables. So that is our box this week. Let me double check, make sure I didn't miss anything. I think I got it all. So enjoy your cooking. Those uh, summer season vegetables are trying to push onward and hopefully in the next few weeks we'll see some of them coming on board. Right now we're trying to tackle the weeds and make sure there's enough water hooked up to everything because in spite of all the rain we've gotten, we haven't gotten any lately, so we're gonna need to make sure we're all fully irrigated this week and tomato trellising, so it's a very busy week here on the farm. Trust you had a wonderful 4th of July. Share with us what ideas you used um, in, in our produce in your celebrations and shoot us a comment or um, a suggestion for any recipes you might wanna share. Thanks so much for joining me. Again, I'm Natasha Lara Lewis with Big Rock Organics. Happy eating.